Juneteenth is the oldest nationally known commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. Several celebrations take place throughout the month of June in honor of the day, but our Victoria Bailey spends today learning the true meaning behind the festivities. She joins us live in the studio with more. Victoria. That's right, Joey. The 4th of July, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, all day celebrating freedom. Well, in Columbus, a festival is getting set to kick off, but the underlying theme is there is a purpose for the party. In, in various locations, uh, freedom came with the arrival of Union troops. In 1865, Union soldiers traveled through the country delivering the news that slavery was officially illegal. Five Union troops arrived in Galveston and the commander, General Granger, issued a general order saying slaves in Texas are freed and should be considered with all civil equal rights to their former slaveholders. Mississippi School of Mathematics and Sciences history teacher Charles Yarborough says more than 40 states recognize Juneteenth. However, the day of celebration is different. But the history of, of uh, Juneteenth sometimes get lost in all of the uh, celebrations. House Representative Kabir Kareem says there may be different days, but the message is the same. I really don't think that there is a difference uh, because the message is clear. Even though it was months earlier uh, that the emancipation was signed, uh, this is when the news traveled through Texas. For the city of Columbus and the Lowndes County area, the news came almost a month earlier. So here in Columbus and Lowndes County and the surrounding area, the 8th of May, 1865, is when Union troops arrived. So for well over a century, the 8th of May was celebrated as the local Emancipation Day. SMS students host a program from the historic Sandfield Cemetery in honor of the original emancipation of slavery for this area. In that program, we celebrate the accomplishments and contributions of people who were alive when freedom came in 1865 and then sought to make a way out of no way in this community. Kareem says the emancipation of slavery is something to celebrate, but black history should be celebrated every day. I just think people should celebrate the history of African Americans, and we need to do everything we possibly can to instill in our children the rich history of our culture, because there is a rich history there. Uh, some is not glamorized as others, uh, but it is a sense of history. And if you're going to know where you're going, you got to know where you've been. The Columbus celebration is scheduled to last until 9 tonight, and the kickoff begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. Joey?